Then when I first started uh, as my term as Secretary of Education, so I, I told it, we have last mile schools, but this will be my last smile because uh, my term is already uh, uh, ending. No. So, when we, when I, when I started the, to visit Region 7, I knew there was going to be a storm. All of us knew that there was going to be a storm. But um, we said we'll proceed anyway. But you know, what are storms? Uh, what are revolutions? What are insurrections? What are wars? They never stop. Education at all, the process of education, uh, whatever the uh, situation. So um, the first set of uh, slides, uh, when I arrived, for example, in the Maguete, we, call the, we say it's the calm before the storm, direct from the airport, I immediately had meetings because we established a new division office in Canlaon City. Canaan City is a very beautiful city and um, it's the vegetable basket of uh, Negros Oriental. This is where the volcanoes are and uh, uh, very uh, uh, and there are problems and distances. So we set up a new division office. So direct from the airport, direct nag-usap na kami meeting with Congressman uh, Josie Lin Kai Chong, uh, who is the chair of our uh, who presented and defended our, our budget. And then I also had a meeting in the afternoon with the ASEAN School Games. Kasi Kong, we have a commitment uh, sa Philippines to host the ASEAN School Games, wherein the country, the schools, school athletes from the different ASEAN countries uh, usually meet every year and compete. And uh, so we have we made a decision because the proposal of uh, other ministers of education would be the uh, November. And sabi ng the Magete, eh, di wala ka na wala ko. Tapos na ang term Sabi ko, ang sabi ko, we have to proceed anyway. Because if we hold it earlier, we will be very busy with face to face. Uh, and so we cannot concentrate on this. So we. Um, we decided for November uh, in 2022 we'll be hosting the ASEAN uh, School Games and I believe uh, the National Academy of Sports will uh, have a very important role here. Philippines will be hosting and more than 5,000 delegates, athletes and ministers of education are coming over. So this is really a big, big commitment which we Philippines fought and negotiated for. Okay, I never hesitate. Oh, wala ka na. But it's not matter. Because these are our commitments which we have to keep. Now, the next day, we, uh, we visited uh, an island. Itong mga, we have schools which are located in uh, islands. No? And you know that. And, one school room, etc. Ito my high school na. Eh, si uh, Yusuf Remsi uh, was with me. And uh, we were crossing from Negros to this island. And you see in the photo, um, the boat where uh, Yusuf uh, Remsi was uh, uh, billeted papunta sa island. Uh, biglang nag, ano, nag, uh, tumigil dahil nag overheat So there they were floating between the cross <laughs> and uh, the island for for some minutes and then we distributed school uh, school supplies. Uh, the next day, Tuesday, this is the day before the storm. Um, uh, it's one of my favorite uh, preoccupations, looking for institutions which are older than me. So uh, I, I visited this uh, um, Gabaldon building, which was started in the year of our Lord, 1914. And since I was born in 1940, I felt like a teenager <laughs> looking at the building. And um, 
and it's a sturdy, we restored the Capiz walls, we restored the design, and we're very faithful to the original design, uh, which uh, also shows us that uh, the way the, the school buildings were designed during that time were really designed to survive. Oh, oh. Kasi yung mga windows, walang air conditioning, tapos may posts sa uh, ilalim, dadaan lang yung tubig, may parang mag Oo, uh, 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 hindi naka-flat sa ground, no? So, um, I, I visited this, um, so itong Olympia Elementary School in the island, and then the Global Dome uh, building. And then, right on the, uh, uh, also the same, uh, the day before the landfall, is it the day before the landfall? Well, they kailan pa ang bagyo? I visited another island. This is the Polo Elementary School and distributed uh, gifts from some local governments uh, to the children. So it was a very, very cool uh, schedule. I'm reporting to you what I do when I go to the regions. And let's start now on landfall. With the landfall, uh, the storm started I had three major uh, activities. One is the uh, inauguration of a three-story uh, school building. Hindi, hindi mahalata. The build up na ang ulan, uh, ang wind, uh, malakas na. But we proceeded with three activities. This is the groundbreaking of the regional office and inauguration of a three-story building which was burned uh, um, a few, uh, two years before, and um, also the start of the Gabaldon Heritage Week in the Maguete. So, that long events during the landfall. And, ang yabang yabang po, kasi sabi ko, don't worry, don't be afraid of this storm. Kami sa Manila, sanay na kami sa Baha, sanay na kami, sanay na kami sa Rally, sa Baha, sa mga threats, sa Ingay. So, sila din sakay na rin sa Bagyo. So, uh, okay lang. Three major events during the landfall. Tapos pagkagabi, I met with the... Uh, uh, superintendents, the heads of schools, because we were in a, in, uh, a building, so uh, uh, we were quite safe.